Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, we have created this idea to share with you today. Exploring Mars The Impact of the Red Planet on Culture, Science, and Human Imagination Was there ever life on Mars? Is it there now hidden beneath the dust? Could Mars be the future home for human civilization? These questions compel scientists and dreamers alike. But beyond the scientific inquiry, Mars has also painted the canvas of our cultural landscape, influencing everything from classical compositions to blockbuster films. In literature, Mars serves as a backdrop for exploring curious themes of alienation and conquest. In music, it resonates as a metaphor for isolation and exploration. And in cinema, Mars has been depicted variously as a place of danger and mystery, and as a new frontier for human bravery and survival. The fascination with Mars has a long and storied history in human culture. From ancient astronomers charting its movements across the sky, to modern rovers scouring its surface for signs of life, Mars has always been a place of wonder and speculation. But let's start with the science and work our way into the human heart. Our quest begins with the question of past life on Mars. For decades, 
scientists have been piecing together the Martian puzzle. The presence of river valleys, lake beds, and minerals that form in the presence of water suggest that Mars once had a much warmer and wetter climate. Such conditions could have been suitable for life as we know it. The Viking landers of the 1970s conducted the first experiments to test for life directly. They yielded intriguing but inconclusive results. Chemical reactions were detected that some scientists argued could be biological in origin. However, the consensus leaned towards non-biological explanations such as the presence of reactive chemicals in the Martian soil that could mimic life's effects. Fast forward to the modern era of exploration, rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance have been equipped with sophisticated tools to continue this search. They've identified complex organic molecules in Martian rocks. These organics are the building blocks of life on Earth, but on Mars their presence doesn't necessarily prove life. They could also have been delivered by meteorites or formed through non-biological processes. This leads us to the present. Is there life on Mars right now? The surface of Mars is hostile, bathed in radiation and incredibly cold. Any present life would likely need to be beneath the surface where it could be shielded from these harsh conditions. The discovery of subterranean lakes of liquid water, detected by radar from orbiting spacecraft, offers a tantalizing hint that life could exist in these dark, hidden reservoirs. Yet direct evidence of life remains elusive. Mars missions have yet to find a smoking gun, like a Martian microbe wiggling under a microscope. The search is methodical and painstaking, constrained by the technological limits of our probes and the vastness of the Martian landscape. Now let's project into the future. Human life on Mars has been the subject of countless sci-fi novels and films, but it's also a serious scientific endeavor. Organizations like NASA and private entities like SpaceX are actively developing the technologies that would allow humans to live and work on Mars. This involves creating sustainable habitats, producing water and oxygen, and solving the immense challenge of getting there and back safely. Living on Mars would require overcoming not just technological hurdles, but also tough physiological and psychological challenges. The reduced gravity, the isolation, the lack of natural life, all pose significant risks to human health and well-being. Yet the pull of the red planet remains strong. Mars represents a kind of planetary backup, an escape hatch from earthly problems, and a unique opportunity to start anew. It embodies the human spirit of exploration and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The red planet has exerted its power on our culture and literature across the centuries. Mars has not merely been a celestial object of scientific inquiry. It has been a canvas for our imaginations and a mirror reflecting our societal anxieties and aspirations. Mars has captivated the literary and cinematic imagination for well over a century. In literature, one of the earliest and most influential portrayals is H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, 1898 where Mars serves as the home world of a menacing alien invasion. This novel did more than thrill readers. It tapped into the fin de siècle anxieties about evolution, technology, and imperialism. The Martians, with their advanced technology and cold intellect, were both a critique of and a fear about the dehumanizing aspects of industrial advancement and colonial domination. The mid-20th century saw a shift in the portrayal of Mars with Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles, 1950, a collection of stories that explores human colonization of Mars and the consequent extinction of the Martian species. Bradbury's work is less about the aliens 
and more about the humans who endeavor to escape the earthly woes, only to repeat their follies on a new planet. The stories serve as a poignant commentary on the destructiveness of human nature, manifest destiny, and the loss of indigenous cultures. In cinema, Mars has been a frequent setting for exploring themes of isolation and survival, as seen in Ridley Scott's The Martian, 2015. Here, Mars is not a place of aliens or fantasy, but a harsh, indifferent landscape that tests the human spirit of ingenuity and endurance. The film, based on Andy Weir's novel, is a testament to the problem-solving capabilities of humans when faced with the ultimate challenge of survival on an alien planet. The fascination with Mars also brings forth ethical considerations. As we project our colonial past onto interplanetary ambitions, questions arise about our right to claim another world. Should Mars be treated as a new world for human expansion? Or should it remain a pristine world dedicated to science and the search for life? This debate touches on environmental ethics, the preservation of potential Martian ecosystems, and the broader responsibilities humans hold as they become an interplanetary species. Moreover, the portrayal of Mars in popular culture often reflects and shapes public opinion about space exploration. For instance, the depiction of Mars as a barren wasteland or a new frontier influences how society perceives the costs, risks, and benefits of Mars missions. It can either spur greater interest and funding in Mars exploration or lead to skepticism about the feasibility and worth of such endeavors. The cultural impact of Mars extends beyond stories and films. It influences educational paths, career choices, and public policy. The Mars rover's missions are followed by millions worldwide, their discoveries celebrated as triumphs of human achievement. Mars has become a part of the global collective consciousness, a common goal that unites different nations under the shared banner of exploration and discovery. The fascination with Mars extends well beyond the written word into the dreams of music and cinema, each medium providing a unique lens through which we view and interpret the red planet. From evocative melodies to epic film sagas, Mars has been a central figure, inspiring artists and filmmakers to explore the unknowns of both the universe and the human psyche. Musically, Mars has been both a literal and metaphorical muse. David Bowie's Life on Mars, from his 1971 album Hunky Dory, is perhaps one of the most iconic songs in which Mars plays a central role. The song questions the surreal nature of modern life and societal norms, using Mars as a backdrop for discussing alienation and escape from reality. Its haunting lyrics and cinematic production have made it a timeless piece, resonating with audiences who feel disenchanted by their surroundings. 30 Seconds to Mars, a band that even includes the planet in its name, often uses space and specifically Mars as a motif to explore themes of human struggle, resilience, and the quest for meaning. Songs like Up in the Air from their album Love, Lust, Faith, and Dreams use space exploration as a metaphor for personal introspection and the pursuit of higher ideals. In a more literal sense, Gustav Holst's orchestral suite, The Planets, provides a musical interpretation of Mars in its first movement, Mars, the Bringer of War. Composed between 1914 and 1916, Holst portrays Mars not as a place, but as an embodiment of conflict and aggression. The piece is known for its intense and driving rhythm, mirroring the tumult and chaos of war. In the history of cinema, Mars has been portrayed in a myriad of ways over the last century, reflecting our changing views and understandings of the planet. Early films like A Trip to Mars, 1918, portrayed Mars as a fantastical place, 
more akin to the danger of magic and myth than the cold, barren landscape science would later reveal. As our scientific understanding grew, so did the realism in our portrayals of Mars. Ridley Scott's The Martian, 2015, based on Andy Weir's novel, presents a highly technical and scientifically grounded scenario of a man stranded on Mars, fighting for survival with ingenuity and perseverance. This film, highly popular and critically acclaimed, helped to cement the idea of Mars as a tangible, reachable place in the public imagination, rather than just a distant, mythical world. The impact of cinema on our perceptions of Mars cannot be overstated. Films have the power to shape public opinion and influence policy by creating emotional connections with their audiences. For instance, movies that depict Mars exploration as an exciting and noble endeavor can inspire new generations of scientists and engineers. The portrayal of Mars in films has also evolved from the purely fantastical to the scientifically plausible, mirroring the shift in scientific perspectives about the planet. As CGI and special effects technologies have advanced, filmmakers have been able to create more realistic and detailed visualizations of Mars, which in turn have made the concept of traveling to and living on Mars more relatable and less fantastical. Despite the advancements in both science and its representation in media, much about Mars remains a mystery. While rovers and orbiters have provided us with a wealth of data, each discovery often leads to new questions. Cinema and music mirror this dance between the known and unknown, often using Mars as a metaphor for the unexplored territories within our own lives and societies. Throughout our conversation, we have traversed through the varied terrains of literature, music, and cinema, discovering how each medium has carved out its own unique interpretation of Mars. From the foreboding yet compelling narratives in classic novels, to the hauntingly beautiful strains of Holst's Mars, the bringer of war, and onto the big screen where Mars tests the metal of the stranded astronaut in The Martian, each portrayal enriches our understanding of this red neighbor in the sky. Mars, as we've discussed, acts as both a canvas and a mirror reflecting our deepest fears about alienation and destruction, while also illustrating our hopes for rebirth and new beginnings. The red planet challenges us to think about not only what it means to be human, but also about how humanity might adapt to life off Earth. It prompts us to consider the ethical dimensions of colonizing new worlds and the responsibilities we carry as potential interplanetary species. This conversation about Mars is more than just an academic or artistic indulgence. It is a necessary examination of our future as a civilization. As we stand on the precipice of becoming a multiplanetary species, the stories, songs, and films about Mars that we've shared today remind us of the power of human creativity and resilience. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, reminding you to keep pondering the unknown and to always cherish the endless possibilities that lie just beyond our grasp. Until next time, keep looking up and exploring further. We wish you a good evening and a better tomorrow. Be a human meme.
So 